turns the FPS on its head a little bit. Um, you have to do all this reloading by pushing a series of buttons. So it really feels like you're like popping the clip out and feeding the clip in and cocking the gun back and stuff. It's cool. G Fitty, thank you for the sub. Four months in a row. Thanks, G Fitty. Appreciate that. All right, let's get this next race going. Dark Freak Abu, winner of this, goes up into the finals to face Scrantle Goof. Yeah, Refunct is really cool. It's at sub two. The getting over it is? Well, I'm sure it's not gonna take me sub two to beat it. <laughs> Maybe sub two hours. I have no idea how long that game is. I think the, I think your starting goal should be, if anything, it should be sub two days. <laughs> Awesome. I mean, I've got all that practice beating Sexy Hiking, so we'll see. Yeah, I, my understanding is that the speedrun is some sort of absurd, like, launch yourself across the level thing. But um, that's all I know, really. But I like, I like keeping it blind. We'll see. I have such a pile of games that I want to stream. Um, uh, and that's one of them. Cuphead. I want to really do Cuphead for sure. Everyone keeps telling me Hollow Knight's amazing. I haven't done that. I also haven't beaten Ori in the Blind Forest. It's just like the list. Oh, that's, goes that's on a good on. one. I played that one. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't resist Celeste. I had to play through that because I was really excited about it. And uh, it was good. Have you have you played that yet? Uh, no, I can't say I have. It's good. I have you know, been hearing all the hype about it, though. Yeah. It's got a, just a very, very good um, story. I really like the story. That's probably my favorite part, but the platforming itself is really good. The mechanics are amazing. DJC is uh, vying for the world record in the All Hearts run, which is like a, it's about a two hour run. It's pretty crazy. It's good stuff. Yeah. I played the, uh, like back uh, years ago, it was originally just like a, uh, like an in-browser flash game. Yeah, the Pico you know, 8 game. Finish in a few minutes, but yeah. uh, yeah, it's similar. Certainly uh, takes a lot of the same kind of ideas from it. Um, Dark but... Free, getting a little trolled there with that beetle back there. Uh, kind of some sub-beat timing silliness. Uh, Fire Beetle went down the trap door. Oh, yes. And before the animation completed, he stepped next to the trap door, and the beetle broke its shell as it was falling down the trap door and covered it with hot coals. Now, it used it's to really actually unlucky. just do that if I'm not mistaken, right? Like where it would just, if it fell down the trap door, it would turn it into hot coals. Am I wrong about that? I don't remember that being a thing, but I, I mean, I like, you know, patched. I came in the middle of like uh, the early access period. So it's entirely uh, possible I missed some really funky behavior. Yeah. I remember that being like, people just being like, stop this, <laughs> Ryan, we don't like this. Oh, gluttony charm. There it is. So five heart containers for the dark freak. I'm sure uh, Abu would appreciate a gluttony charm right now, holding on to that ham. Uh, Pants are saying it's uh, it's hot dogs that used to do that. Oh, it was hot dogs. Thank you, Pants. That is correct. Oh, a blood axe. We've got another blood axe around here. Confirmed blood axe. Very, very good. I guess would would that be the best weapon for him? I mean, axe is generally the best the best weapon, but for tempo, yeah, yeah, I think blood axe. Dark Freak um, making a really. Uh, like a really well thought out play there. I don't know if you caught it, but he was actually uh, slated to get uh, slammed by a Ghoulam there. Like a um, Ghoulam right next to him about to smack him. But um, yeah, wisely just ate the hit, even though it's a you know a huge hit of damage because if he attacked the Ghoulam at that state, um, he would have been looking at a full surround on Ooze. So oh. narrowly avoiding disaster there. Yeah, I definitely missed that, but that is uh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, Armadillo's going into teleport traps. That's always potentially Hilarious. <laughs> Just suddenly an armadillo comes out of nowhere at you. Um, but there it is. Dark Freak is going to move on to 3 2 with uh, Abu not terribly far behind, but took the Electro Dagger, did not find that Blood Axe. Doesn't quite have the health regen that, that Dark Freak has. Um, but using these grenades pretty effectively, I think all that stuff came out of the Shrine of Pain, if I'm not mistaken. I think Abu did a full clear on the Shrine of Pain, full damage opening of the Shrine of Pain, which usually is pretty good. A little less good on Tempo because you can't get the Ring of Courage, but um, yeah, you can get some good stuff out of it. Man, Ring of Courage would be so broken with this character. And yeah, Dark Freak kind of pushing back here. Uh, yeah, I think Blood Axe, the superior weapon here. Um, I mean, 
Yeah, the Electric Dagger has the big crowd control, but Tempo doesn't gain a whole lot of benefit from that since the uh, infinite damage doesn't apply to the electricity. That's right. Um, oh, and here comes a Miner's Cap. Just miner's to, uh, Cap, there you go. That's just really to, good. Um, have the digging time, I guess. Yep. Yeah, halving the time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, we'll see what, I mean, you've got a little bit of an advantage with the Electro thing to be able to kill the Electro zombies that don't show up until Zone 5. You can, it's really, it's such a minimal yeah, thing. I'm just trying like, to make it somehow better, but it, they're pretty inconsequential like, with uh, the yeah, axe. Like just watching like uh, Abu, oh you know, God, Dark Abu Green. versus the, oh yeah, wow. Dark Green. That yeah, was some Dark clever play there, taking the Telemonkey and deciding not to actually take it and instead bombing the the um the monkey to not get uh teleported potentially back to the start that was a really smart yeah. time saving play but took a ton of hits there but it didn't matter yeah it's a play you don't see too often because usually uh, you know if you're getting grabbed by a tell monkey it's not exactly planned and yeah. you're just panicking and immediately hitting another button but um you know the tell monkey the teleport only procs is like um you know when you attack a monkey it's an effect there and so if an external source like a bomb you know, for instance, uh, kills the monkey instead, you don't get the teleport, and it can be uh, nearly useful. You know, yeah. bomb, fire pig, uh, dragon fireballs, you know, any of those. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think we're really seeing uh, just how much better the blood axe is than the electric dagger. Um, if you, I've been, you know, kind of comparing their approaches to the exit rooms on these floors, and uh, I was kind of having to do a lot of, like, standing and burning beats, waiting for things to approach so that he can start zapping everything in the room, and I mean, Dark Freak just can charge right in to yeah. every room. Yeah, you've got the effect of snow cloud. wipe entire swarms. And also, yeah, exactly. Zone 5 does benefit from the axe because the halls are three wide, so you just kind of plow down them. And you stand on the electricity, so you're doing the electro damage anyways. Yeah, Blood Axe, definitely the better choice there. Not that Abu had a choice. I'm sure if he saw the Blood Axe, he would have taken it. Um, but yeah, Dark Freak taking game number one. Putting Abu on his heels a little here. And we will see game number two in a moment. Just double checking that there wasn't some tie that I forgot about. But no, this is in fact game number two. And some really fine play from Dark Freak. We're seeing a lot of really quick races. Again, you can go check out the stats sheet here. Fun thing about the stats sheet is it has all of our stats ever. Well, that's not technically true because we've had to since create a new stat sheet because we filled up the maximum number of tabs you can have on a Google document, but um, there is I mean, a link a to that. You can go back and you can find all the stats and it's kind of fun to go back and look at the names that you see, especially in some of the old, old, old tournaments and, and the names that you see back there, it's pretty cool. I mean, having uh, too many pages of results is definitely a good problem to have. Yes, yes, that's true. And, and uh, I'm sort of hoping that I'll be able to, with the wiki crane, um, you know, sort of consolidate all our stats in one place. Uh, that'd be pretty fun to have just like the list of all of our stats ever. And then you can start to compile, you know, who's won the most races ever, who's had the best average race time, all that kind of cool stuff. Man, I was really hoping that Dark Freak would give me a juicy dagger throw there with the Warlock teleport in that room. Yeah, it was set up, but didn't take it. And yeah, those, those lines can be pretty hard to see on a, on a short notice. Yeah, now again, that goes back to what Rat and I were talking about, where you kind of got to really widen your scope of, of view here to see where all the enemies are and that sort of thing. Nice Dark Freak wasting a couple beats there to wait for the dragon to get closer, but then realize that still it's going to take too long and, and had to go around. Yeah, the way he was uh, standing around burning beats was actually just making the dragon pace up and down, so uh, wasn't making any progress there. No. I think Abu thought about maybe trying to kill the dragon so that he didn't have to fight it in this uh, boss little arena there, but... Um, anyways, I mean, had the, to... the boss arenas aren't really that big of a problem for tempo. You no. one shot everything. It's oh, Dark Freak opting not to take the blood flail. I take it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Abu takes it. I think it's good. You're just wiping things off the planet. Like it's pretty good. And also, um, as I mentioned earlier, you can move around armored enemies. And uh, moving around armor and enemies can be a pretty good thing when you get snagged. Although I guess you don't really get snagged with the, the dagger, so. I don't know. 
And I think, though, you know, with all, like, the, you're gonna, oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> We're talking about the blood foil, oh, but, you know, there's blood another blood axe again. And that actually that... leads to probably Abu not checking that shop, but well, definitely not checking that shop now. Um, so not finding it, and that's gonna be a big bonus for Dark Freak here. That's it's gonna be tough for Abu to keep it. Um, as long as, you know, uh, as long as Dark Freak can stay alive here, I think we're likely gonna see a repeat of the first match where it's just a uh, Blood Axe is just way, way strong. And there's, and there's the armor plate. in the black chest here. And Dark Freak with some good RTMP strats, there's no way he's checking that for a weapon. Ooh, Abu looking in that shop. Temporarily picking up the spear, probably just to reset the timer. Sometimes you just Torch gotta buy room. something cheap. Yeah, Torch of Walls there, but um, yeah. Well, Torch of Walls is absolute uh, amazing high tier item for most characters since uh, um, Tempo already has that inherent telepathy effect and the uh, compass. It's not really worth a whole lot here. No, it's still got some value, but yeah, it's not a ton. It sort of just gives you an idea on sort of the layout a bit better, but yeah, there's can, so much uh, visual noise with this character already. It can be a little tricky to even have it more. It save you some time with, like, you know, like, routing out, like, where, you know, the most efficient place to dig through a wall would be. But, right. um, you know, that's just going to be a few beats here and there at most. Which has been, you know, the difference in a number of these races. But, yeah, it's... That is true. It's, it's certainly... Oh, and a nice uh, Zuma strat there. Oh, my God. This start... Just bats everywhere. Bats. That, that, <laughs> That's that a is Coda my, 4 1 right there for that you. That is my Coda low percent nightmare right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you open the one like, oh, let's check this other way. Oh, no. It's, yeah, because you wouldn't have, you wouldn't see those bats until you open up all three of those closets and just, just give up. <laughs> I think I would just give up if yeah, I, if I find saying. that there's bats in all three oh. potential directions. It's just like, well, <laughs> it was a good run while last, guys. I, I'm out of uh... here. <laughs> End Abu stream. eating the same fire pig twice right there. Thankfully that uh, plate armor and uh, helmet just uh, making it half a heart. Yep, it's got the essential uh, heavy plate and has got the, the regen. And since you're hitting so many extra things, you're killing so many extra things and that's going to give you a lot more heals than, well, maybe not than a blood axe, but like more than a blood dagger, I guess. I'll see him. Ooh, we're kind of seeing that, you know, taken. That, that one conditional I had because, you know, Blood Axe is definitely stronger than Blood Flail, but, um, you know, that's provided that Dark Freak stays alive, and he's on really low health and having to play pretty safe, so uh, this is opening a window of opportunity for Abu. Yeah, Abu is not uh, so far behind that it's out of reach yet, but uh, it's getting there. How about a floor back? Could have yeah, used a really good Telemonkey here, but there is none in sight. Fortunately, zone five, uh, unfortunately for Abu, zone oh! 5 is... Whoa, that was a that big damage. That is a lot of damage. damage for Abu. That is... The yeah, you get that lunge damage from the uh, blade masters and Anku trying to escape. That's that's definitely a, a flaw of the flail there. That was some brutal snag. Yeah, zone five is where blood weapons really shine because you get just so many extra incidental kills from the electricity um, that we're probably gonna see Dark Freak regen to full health in no time at all. Yep. And yeah, already there we go, full HP as he heads down to five three. So. Uh, yeah, Abu kind of needs a miracle here. He needs a death from Dark Freak to stay in this. Yeah, Dark Freak's just got so much of a lead right now. On to Death and Metal. Death metal Pretty easy fight. Which is fight. an absolutely trivial fight. You Run press up, up the middle. To win. There you go. Up to win, and Dark Freak is going to move on to the finals. Another sub six race. Wow. So a tough one for Abu once again. Abu just unable to uh, pull the trigger on a tournament. Sad to see. We love Abu, um, but all, ultimately like some amazing races. Looking back, Abu had 